And good afternoon. Welcome back to Thumper's Lock Picking. I have a challenge lock here from, uh, looks like J. King uh, or Jason Carlson. Uh, he's got J. Key 99 and Jason Carson there. This is Underbite 2. Um, I got a mummified key I've not opened up. Um, this is the uh, lock, and uh, let's see if we can get into this. Okay. Use top of the keyway. Uh, I believe this is like a 30,000th, 34,000th uh, tension wrench. Um, um, locked up. I'm going to use the Peterson short hook and see what we can do here. Alright, I'm going to make sure I'm in camera. I'm going to raise it a little bit just in case it keeps on lowering. I'll make sure you guys can see this okay. How's that? I'll try to keep it in view. I'll try to keep my hands back. I'm just uh, not Houdini. Okay, so here we go. Click on one. Click on two. Couple of clicks out of three, there's another one. Three clicks out of three. Click on four. Back to the beginning. Nothing on one. Click out of two. Click out of three. Two clicks. There's another click. Feels like number three is set. That thing on four, five back to the beginning. Two, click out of three, another click out of three, nice click out of four, and back to the beginning. Nothing on one, two, Nice click, three, and there we go, I'm open. All right, now, I like that. That was easy. That was pretty good, I like that. This was a cool lock for me, love it, can't complain. No, no, no. Let me keep it in sight here. Put it right there, you guys can see. Let me lower the camera. Okay, let's here with my key. Move this out of my way. My beautiful pinning tray. All right, what am I gonna need here? Clip remover. Let's try it. Just bought a, a new clip remover. Let's see how this thing works. Just like every other clip user. No problem. 
Not too tight on here, it doesn't look. I do have a key. I locked it, so oh, it's memorized too. One second, focus. All right. This was the bidding on the key. Works perfect. Dead myself and my follower. Don't think it's that I will shim it. Don't you do that. Think I'm good enough there. No disasters, absolutely marvelous. Got some nice looking uh, pins so far, I can see. Are we done here so you guys can see? All right. Go. One, looks like a standard. Two, standard. Three, standard. Four, standard. Five, standard. All standard pins. The uh, Bible is all, we got threads in three, yeah, threads in three, make sure here, nothing in one, no underbite. No, three, we definitely got some um, serrations or, or counter milling, not counter milling, threads. Okay, so it's just uh, three and four. Um, let me see if I can real quick show you this and I'll move on. Can you see that all right? Okay. Pull the shim out. <clears throat> Tweezer. Okay, one looks like we got a standard with a metal spring. Cooperate. We got two, which is a nice little spool with another metal spring. Or we have a serrated um, sharp top. Um, I'll show you this in the end. Yeah, it looks like number three. Got a nice spool. Oh, that, that. 
spool and another metal spring. I believe that's the way it came out. I think that one came out like that. I'm not mistaken like that. Alright. Um, what happened to my probe? We got let me look for a minute, guys. The uh, Bible is completely stuck. If you can see that, okay. Um, okay. So again, very nice lock. Uh, Jason Carson, Jason King, 95. This is underbite 2. Let me give you a close-up of this. Go through this. There we go. You guys see it okay? So we have all standards in the bottom. You got a standard in the top, a number one, a spool in number two, serrated in number three, another tiny spool, four, and another serration in uh, five. And you know what? Uh, I am sorry. I don't know which way they went in. I believe it's that way. Jason, if you can let me know if I'm wrong, uh, leave me a comment. Um, I'll correct it. But great luck, brother. Thank you very much. Um, that's all I have for you today. Stay safe. Everybody be legal. Don't put your picks in anybody else's locks. And it won't become illegal. Have a great afternoon, everybody. I'm gone.